Got a couple things on the list of things to do today for Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I want to build a rover, because uh, I haven't done that before. I need to build a upgraded lander, um, because my current mod here, I think I can open it up. It's David the Lander 2. My current model of lander, which I'm current, I I'm using right now, is out of date. Um, I have access to uh, more equipment, uh, like the let's see the si uh, the seismic accelerator, the gravioli detector, um, uh, the surface scanning module. I think one of them has a surface scanning module, and the other one doesn't. I'm not exactly sure. But we definitely need to um, build a upgraded one. We do have a lot more of these. Let's see. So we've got the communications equipment, the monitor, the uh, the Grand Slam passive seismometer. We don't have on any um, bodies yet. Uh, I don't know what this is, but we definitely don't have that. We have the photovoltaics. We have a weather analyzer. I think in the control station. I think we have, um, but we don't. Uh, we don't have some of that stuff. So. That's one of the things I want to do today. Build a new lander. Hey, Wolf King. Utari, Alexandra. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, but, like I said, I also want to build a rover. I want to build a, re uh, a fuel processing station on the moon. But uh, I think we might have to take some contracts because we're a little low on funds at the moment. Well, 350000 is not super low, but it's not great either. So let's just... We need, we need to find something that's easy to do. And will get us a lot of money. Uh, let's see. Gather surface deployed mystery goo observation science from the surface of the moon. Can we be able to do... I mean, we already have those down. I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't exactly know how this stuff works. I know they, like, passively create science, but I'm not sure what would the... Uh, What's not low for me? I'd say uh, half a million. Oh, it's doing that thing where the game's like whitewashed again, too. Let's see. Science complete 29.75. Science transmitted 29.75. Weather analyzer is obviously not doing anything because it's a weather analyzer. This is the experiment control station. So, like, we do have... Like, like, if we sped this up a lot, will that... Yeah, see. Yeah, and then what what happens is as as the, the body orbits, we stop um, getting signs from this. So what we could do is take that and just... Uh, mission was minimus. I don't remember which one it was. I, don't, I didn't look. Uh, I just wanted to see if these were actually doing anything. And, I mean, technically they are. I don't know if I could set up a, a a station with batteries or anything like that for these to pull from. I don't know if they work like that. I think I have some of these on Midmus as well. Oh god. Random debris. We I think we could uh get rid of r random debris left left around from stuff that doesn't matter. Get rid of get rid of that stuff. Okay. I don't remember what that was. Pigeon one. This is actually pigeon two. I put this is uh one of those surf those scanning satellites. I just uh, off screen I put one of them. Wait, where is it? I put one of them around Minmus. I don't know if there's actually any ore on Minmus that we can process. I'm assuming that there is, but I haven't I haven't exactly looked just yet. Where did your cat go? It's not here. I don't have your cat, unfortunately. So this is... I'm going to go ahead and rename this right now. So there's not two satellites with the same name. Two Pigeon 2. And then I'm going to blow my nose. And then remember to unmute the microphone. Oh, did it go? Did it go away while I was? Uh, yeah, I think it did. 
We got test uh, the regularized vehicular wheel landed on Duna. That would get me 700,000 curb ducats for testing out a uh, ruggedized, ruggedized vehicular wheel on Duna. So that would be, let's see, test a small hardpoint orbiting Ike. Rescue from orbit, recover a module from orbit. To collect 50% of the uh, deployed mystery goo observation science on Minmus. Eh, it's like 300,000. Science data from space around the moon is basically nothing. Science data from space. Yeah, a lot of these little ones aren't going to be worth much. Map 8 asteroids. Duna stone back with you. That's actually not a lot for bringing a Duna stone back. Bring a newly discovered class A asteroid into orbit around Kerbin. One star. Oh god, that's definitely not something I've ever done before. It's considered animal cruelty if I put pigeons around the moon. Uh, I would hope not. And th they would be in safe uh, safe containers. I'm thinking maybe we test a ruggedized vehicular wheel landed on Duna. Because that basically means uh, we would be building a Duna lander. Or a Duna rover. Hey, Robert. Uh, I, th I like the idea of a Duna rover. Why don't we go ahead and... and I mean, we get a lot of cash for that one. We, we'll get a, a bunch up front, too. Why don't we go ahead and design a uh, a Duna rover? I like that. I like the idea of doing that. Okay, so it would we would have to it would have to be remote controlled because we're not sending a person over there. So let's see. This 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 the well this is the rover mat technically does have control right unmanned remote pilot assist available hibernation mode. Um, eh, I want, eh, pin, I want to see this information, let's see, it's got biome and terrain scan modes, scans enhanced while landed on ground, splashdown, or standing at launch, and it has various variants, oh, it also has an internal communications uh, array, cannot transmit science, so I'd have to, um, if I, ha if I wanted any science on there, I'd, I'd have to have some sort of different doodle. Let's see. Oh, I like that. We'll go with this one. So this is our... Can I... Can I, 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 I should probably rotate it around. So that it's actually... You know, wheels down position. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll, we'll go ahead and build ourselves our first rover... Normally, I would probably want to design a rover and send it to someplace easy like the moon first, but the game says go to Duna, so we're going to end up sending it to Duna. All right. Now, this are the, these are the recognized vehicles. Oh, my God. Okay, a little bigger than I expected. I mean, like, some small rover wheels would probably be better for this kind of thing, but, uh, is there a bigger, can I slap a couple of these, can I, you know, tape a couple of these together? <laughs> Make it wider? For mobile research bases? Ah, uh, so they're for, like, really, really heavy stuff. What I can always do is put regular wheels on, on on this and then just slap that on top or something like that. Because all it has to do is get there. Or or we just bite the bullet and go, screw it. Uh, is this, is this have a deployed mode? Because it looks like it should be, like, rotated. Yeah, it looks like it should be rotated like that. This is fine, right? Well, that's that doesn't even look like it's attached. I think that I think that would work better. I mean, that's technically still attached, right? Put the second antenna uh, to the other space station. What are we talking about?
I'm thinking it might be better just to just to because to, we don't need to do anything crazy. We don't actually need to use the wheels. To perform the test, use the run test option in the parts contextual menu while all test conditions are met. Landed on doing it. So no, I, all I, I what I could do is I could just attach one of these to the lander, and it would be fine. We'll just use regular rover wheels for the actual rover. I think. Let's see. So probably just some of these. We don't need any. We don't need anything nuts for it. So why why are these like this? What is this? What is this nonsense? Why don't the wheels the, the, that doesn't look very symmetrical to me? Hmm. So I I, I think I might have to uh, put them all on manually. Build the lander and the arrow hanger. Yep, no mods. This is complete vanilla. There we go. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be hard to get these to line up correctly. Here, what I'm going to do is line, line these ones up with, like, the edges, and then this one I'll just move a little bit over to the side. Oh, oh, never mind. Mm-mm. I always meant to uh, to try this game. What's the plan? Uh, well, we've done a lot already. Here, I'll show you. Uh, this is, we'll, we'll we'll go ahead and save this for now. Oh, you know what? I gotta gotta grab this again. We'll call this. Uh, for now, we'll just call this the du Duner Test One. Duner Duna. We've, we've done a fair bit already, but we kind of got to do uh, some Mars stuff. Like, here, let's open the tracking station. How hard is the game? Was tempted to buy it during the summer sale. Uh, the game is not particularly difficult. In, it, it, it requires you to do some studying, though, or a lot of trial and error. Uh, yeah, like, like we can go over here. Because, uh, you know, getting to orbit isn't just flying straight up and, and reaching space. Um, so, like, we've built space stations. This is a modular space station I built around Kerbin's second moon. Um, so, this is this is one section that we set up. The, this section, that's the command section. It's also got uh, extra fuel for refueling. Uh, this is the science section. We got a coupler section. Um, this is the communications array, which is also set up. And this is the lander. This is a reusable lander. Um can go down to the surface, gather science, do its thing, come back up, then refuel. And it's actually, this is actually missing a section right now. I think the other space station I built is, um, is complete at the moment. That would have been Garrick 3 orbiting the moon. I think this one's complete. Well, as complete as it's going to be right now. It's a lot of trial and error or figuring out how things work by going through the tutorials. Yeah, this this is a more complete space station. Same sections, command section, uh, science section, lander section, communications. Uh, but it's also got a um, uh, escape craft here, just in case. The Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Updated communications array. Yep, I, I off screen I I attached one of these to the the moon base as well. So today we're probably going because uh, somebody asked what's on the docket. We're going to be testing out rovers and we're also going to rebuild this lander because this one is pretty old and out of date. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and make a new lander. Yeah, the space station was really fun to build because I had never done that before. So sending up all those modular sections and connecting them together, that was a lot of fun. Ideally, what we'd want to do is um, build one of those around Duna as well. Hey, Penelope. Who's a good dog? Uh, I've got some unmanned stuff over there right now. Um, we have landed a... We have an unmanned science module on Duna right now. It's all, it's basically, we sent up an orbital probe over a long time ago. 
Um, but then we landed this guy over here. He did his science. He did his he did he did his job. So now he's just there as kind of like a uh, for posterity's sake. But what we're probably going to end up doing right now is send a rover here. So, because I, well, I, what we would end up doing is build one of these. It would have to be larger and have a, we'd have to redesign this so it's larger um, and has a rover basically slung underneath. And the, ideally what I was go thinking of doing is um, having larger landing legs that are mounted lower down so that this thing can land safely and then just detach the rover out from under it. And then the rover could drive around and do its stuff. I'm not confident enough, and we're, uh, I play this game on what I, I call it Iron Man mode, because I'm coming from Paradox Games, where Iron Man mode means uh, no safe scrubbing. So, uh, all deaths are permanent. I believe I've lost a fair bit of people already. Hang on. <laughs> um, this one? No, that's just a flagpole. Yeah, oh, we've killed seven people. I don't know if that, I don't know if this accounts for the, um, the tourists I killed, though. What do you do with the rover when it gets uh, planet side? Science! Uh, you, you can put a little arm on it. Oh, Je Jeb died in a freak accident. Absolute freak accident. He died really early before I even started streaming this. Um... I told the story before on stream, but I'll I'll I'll, I'll give you the the cliff notes. Uh, so it was my first um, uh, orbital rocket uh, went up about ten thousand meters, and there was a it was it was there was a bad procession in it. It was like healing back and forth harder and harder, and I decided to abort. So I aborted the mission. He uh de he successfully deployed his parachute and his command capsule. Uh, Watching from Thanks the office some. break room, smiling face with sunglasses. His command ca uh, capsule was um, floating down safely, and one of the solid rocket boosters that I had jettisoned off swirled back and hit the command ca uh, capsule on the way down and blew it up. So let's go back to our vehicle diddly-doodly. And we'll just open back up our pathetic little Duna test rover. Veodix! Thanks for the diddly. Yeah, it was an epic death. And then I killed three to four tourists by accident. Uh, I did I, I did a but Maximus. <laughs> <laughs> they killed Jeb, yes they did. Uh thanks for the cheer. Oh my Richard. god, they killed Jeb. Uh we'll probably want to test this thing out on the ground here too. Once we get it once we get it built. Uh yeah, that one just gonna line up right there is fine. And this one I should just be able to mount into the center without an issue. And theoretically, this thing should just... I should just be able to drive this around. Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, if I want to drive it, I should do it over here. Because then, then it'll deploy to the... The runway. Oh, I hit leave. Fuck me. One of these days, I'll hit the correct buttons in the correct order and we'll do things. <laughs> yeah, more parachutes. More parachutes are good parachutes. Does the... Oh, yeah, he works just fine. A boop boop do do A do do Whoa! Oh, he's cute. How much How much power? Oh, yeah. I didn't... There's no extra batteries or uh, photovoltaics on him, so he's going to run out of juice pretty soon. But he works. I can control him around just fine. He doesn't flip over. I mean, there's a lot lower gravity where I'm going, so could have problems with uh, going this fast. But uh, he works just fine. Cool. I can also do is maybe locks uh, 
here. Let's uh, let's have it stop. Uh, Brakes. If I might be able to, let's see, turn the steering what wheel, turn the steering off on on most of the wheels. That might make it a little easier. to control oh that yeah if i just use if i if i just if i turn the steering wheel off on uh the steering off on most of those wheels then he's a lot easier to control and we're about to run out of juice which is just fine we'll just uh have him s whoa <laughs> he's going i was like what we'll wait for him to stop and then we'll recover him Turn off the steering on only one side. Why would I do that? Uh, I tried placing the wheels in symmetry. They don't work that way. Unless uh, maybe it might be, it might work, but whoa, he's just not slow. Is there no ground resistance here at all? My God. <laughs> this is the smoothest grass known to man. I, tr I tried using mirror symmetry on this guy. It didn't work. Just go back to the space center. He's, he's fine. I'm not, I'm, I'm okay with abandoning him. He was, he was cheap. I'm not going to wait around for, uh, forever. That uh, brakes don't work when you don't have power. Here, I'll show you guys. Maybe I, I could try it in the uh, the space plane hangar, but uh, the mirror symmetry was uh, mirroring incorrectly. So here, let's grab one of these and put it on mirror mode, and it goes it goes upside down. But I mean, they're all snapped to the center, and and they're lined up pretty much identically, so it's fine. Bid do, bid do, do. Radial mode? Uh. That's why. There we go. My bad. Sorry about that, guys. So that that will allow allow it to uh, be doodle. I completely forgot that that existed. So what we could do is just grab these. Whip. I completely forgot that that was a thing you could do. Whip. Is it? It's whipping. Okay, yeah, there you go. Woo! Now they're now they're actually identical. And I think in here I should be able to turn the steering off on these guys. Because it was definitely a lot easier to control like that. Uh, steering disabled. Yep, okay, that worked just fine. Okay, so we need to add things to him. So we could strap a bunch of stuff to him. Here, let's uh, put the. Well, let's see. Where do we want to put? Here, let's let's start by putting stuff on his butt. And, and oh god, that's that's the oh, no, not that one. We'll put on one of these bad boys. A gravioli detector. Uh, boo doo doo. Uh, barometric doodle. Oh, that's a little big. Uh, I think that's all of this. Well, here, let's let's even some of this stuff out so it looks a little better. Sorry right about that. There we go. Ah, there we go. Missed the 17 months message? No, I didn't. I saw it. I said thank you. Uh, boo do 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 boo do 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 do. Uh, also, almost time for the second Twitch baby. Let's see. So we've got uh, we've got a light scanning arm we can attach to his diddly. We've got a large scanning arm we can. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That is uh, that is that is a heck of a deployed arm there. Uh, oh God! It, there we go. Um, how big is that? Look, let's see. Can I? Uh, a status retracted. I don't think I need. A, I don't think I need an arm that big. We got a. Oh, we got a medium. Maybe the medium is more. Uh, more like it. 
The medium arm actually fits on there pretty good. Whoa, what's a Twitch baby? It's just when someone's been subbed for nine months. Enough time for a baby to grow. Um, and for, for this guy to actually be able to collect science and transmit it, he would have to, he's got direct communication, so he could do a direct line back to one thing. Uh, but I w what I think I would have to do is make sure that the either, either there would have to be a relay that he, uh, in orbit around, um, Duna that he could, uh, attach, uh, you know, communicate with, or I would have to put a relay on the, the actual lander that comes with him. Opportunity or Viking? Uh, I think it's more like, I think it's gonna be more like Opportunity. Solar panels and batteries. Yes! Power! Let's not have limited power! Uh, let's see. I might just be able to strap some... Some of the, uh, the basics to him. Like, put them on top. Uh, they don't... They don't... They only want to go on angled. Let's see. What a, what is this angled nonsense? Like I, I could just I, I could put them on the front perfectly fine or the back. They don't. I was just gonna strap them to the top though. Uh. Well, I mean, technically, I could just do this. There you go. Oh yeah, I could rotate them, but is this cooler? Is that cooler? Here, what about the big one? What? Oh! This is fine. Give him a little hat. It might be better just to do this. Here, um... Uh... Not the move tool, roll take tool. Yeah, I could just do that. And then and then what I can do is I might be able to uh Yeah, kind of like that. Ah, that's what we're thinking. That's that's more like what I was thinking. Now I'm going to have I'm gonna, oh, okay. I was going to put more of these down and it's going I mean it's going to make me do that for everyone. But that only took that wasn't difficult to get. The rotation did kind of like snap on like angle on like uh like 15 degree increments there or something like that. So it was pretty easy to get it lined up. Although now, although now this one doesn't want, I want to get in line with that one. Maybe if I just, yeah, more of a floating placement kind of works. There we go. How many, how much does this, uh, does it actually say how much these produce? Outputs 0.3 per second. That's really not that much. How much does this guy use? Does it act, uh, it would probably say in here. Requires 0.4 per minute. So let's, uh, let's get the calculator out here. So each one of those makes 0.3 per second. So, 0.3. So 18. Oh yeah, that's enough. That's fine. That that's that's plenty. I'm not sure how much uh, does this stuff or does this stuff actually. Uh, well, that should be fine, as long as it's actually you know. Facing the sun. Yeah, and those rovers uh, on on Mars, those are w well. Some of them are, you know, like little guys. Some of them are like the size of a fucking SUV. I'm thinking what we do is we just put on a pair of these bad boys. Is that his ass or his face? Put a pair of those guys on there, make sure he's got plenty of juice. Although, I feel like that might, uh, can we mount these on the bottom? Can I, can I mount a, uh... <laughs> oh, 
Well, te technically, that's perfectly fine. How much does that weigh? 0 0.05 tons? It's actually not that heavy. Can mount a giant battery to his underside, and he's perfectly fine. Farther transmission, the more power uh, storage he'll need. What about lights? Uh, I don't think he'll need lights, but I mean, I can always put them on there just for funsies. I also I could put on extra solar arrays too if I if I think it's necessary. Um, let's see, that's a one hundred. That's a thousand. That's a two hundred. That's a four hundred. Thinking of just doing like a, like a small one on his on his belly there. Should be perfectly fine. Um, we could, we could try to add more science on. How much of these goo, these goo containers aren't that heavy. We could try to put on some, uh, some more science with, uh, goo. Put a pair of those on the side. So we can, so we can do a little more science. Have antenna. It actually has an internal antenna, but I was thinking about putting on a better one. Because uh, the antennas aren't really that bad. Like I, this is a direct. This is a direct. Oh, those are actually bigger than I thought they were. Um. Let's see what's uh. Mm, yeah, this guy's pretty small. I could just give him a, a a little baby one. Give him a tail. Strap it to the butt. Oh, you know what? Uh, I just thought of something. This needs. To, this needs to strap onto the bottom of the lander, which means this this arm would be in the way. Uh hang on, I got a pl I got an idea. Cause this this attachment point would need to be open. Turn symmetry mode off. Let's just put one of maybe maybe put one of these on the front. That covers up the flag though. Because the plan was to have this just uh, be, be attached to the bottom of the lander. So that needs to be, that needs to be open. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll use a light scanning arm. And just strap it to the side. Or, or maybe like that. Strap it to the, strap it to the underneath. I mean, that's that's theoretically fine, right? Or I could, uh... Put it on the side. Move it up. Here, uh... Mm, it's not really gonna work. Make another satellite around the sun, around the sun, and one around Mars so you don't lose communications. Uh, I already do have one around the sun and one around Mars right now. I don't remember how good they are. But we should be able to, I mean, they should be okay. Let's see. So the one around the sun, I don't remember, uh, is the one around Duna Zate 3? Yeah, this is, this is the, uh, this is the one around the sun. It does have a, a communications relay. I don't think that's the most powerful one I have available, but I launched it before I, I got that one. And this thing has so much fuel left. We never even got to the atomic rocket motor on it. The one around Dune is definitely old, though. I can always try to do it in one mission. Where's Zate? I know he's he's on this list somewhere. There he is. Zate's an old an old guy. Hey, checkmate. Test drive the rover on Kerbin. Yeah, once we're a little... This is the one I sent to. This is the first um, um, guy I sent here. So he's te he technically does have uh, uh, relays on him. They're just an older model. 
Oh no, he he had one of the better ones on his nose too. I put the I put the ones are the the ones on radially just to add to it, but uh, it seems to be working pretty fine so far in terms of communications to Duna. So let's go back to our rover. Hey, two dog. Oh, uh, here. What if? We, right. Here. What if we put these put these guys back on the side? I might have to cover up the actual little Magnus flag there, unfortunately. Put it back on mirror mode. Oh no, I'm on radial again. Try to get these in like a, a semi nice position where they kind of line up. That's kind of cute, really. And then what if I just rotate, took, take this off, rotate it in the correct orientation? Like that. Just have it on the front. And then we can test him out, see how he works. Test them out. Boot, 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 do, 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 No tar so there's nothing he can scan within range. But it, I mean it looks like it it looks like he'd work okay. I mean it's it's nighttime now so obviously uh he's he's sucking down the juice. But he's cute and you can still see the flag underneath there. I think that I think that would work. He's got all he's got the science uh what science stuff we can mount to him on his butt. Uh, for, for safety's sake, we could actually fit another array of, oh, he's just drifting backwards now, another set of panels on his back. And I think I can, yeah, I could turn him, I can, I can make him hibernate so he uses up less juice. Okay. So he seems to work okay. That seems to, this seems to be fine. Schmutz on my screen here. I think penny fur. Dog fur on my screen. I have to recover that in a second, too. That's fine. Before we you know what we could do. Oh, no, because we need. You no, know, I was going to say, let's just put one big one on his back. No. We would need. Uh, again, we need access to the. Um, Uh, the point, the the hard point. <laughs> so we'll put on a, we'll put on more of these just to make sure, you know, just 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 because it looks good mostly. <laughs> Try it on the moon first. I could always do that. A moon mission's easier. Getting to the moon is very is very simple compared to getting to Duna. And if, if I wanted to, I, I could mount this over. Well, that's going to get in the way. And then I think all we would need on his back to make it, to, to give him an attachment point would just be like a Sepatron. A stack, a stack separator. A small stack separator. And then he would just attach on with that. And this thing leaves no parts connected on either side, so he'd be fine to, uh, it, it wouldn't obscure anything. So that's that that's pretty cute right there. We could so we could definitely send him to the moon first if we wanted to. 
All right, let's go ahead and save that. And then what we would need to do is build a lander above this. I like the array of science just attached to his butt here. Little booty of science. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've had one of these or one of these on the moon yet either. Or Minmus. Minmus, I think, would probably be the easiest because it's the lowest gravity. Uh, but let's, okay, let's see here. So, whatever, the, the lander needs to be wide because he, he need, it needs to be very fat because it needs to fit snugly underneath. The lander needs to, or the, the rover needs to sit snugly underneath. So, what I was thinking we do is we grab one of these, like, big structural adapters, flip it around, and attach it to that. Like so, because that gives me a wider attachment point. Do I have any other larger... What is a grip pad? Oh, that's... that's so, there's some stuff that was added in a patch recently. Uh, large size non-slip pad so that you don't slip and fall the back of your mech bot as you stomp across KSB in search of science. What that? What, what, what is it? I guess you stick to it. Extreme, extreme grip. Uh, okay. Oh, that's a bigger one. So that 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 that's that's kind of the size we're looking for, I think. Like that. And we've got uh, Jamin U. Ha, Jamin ha ha. Thanks for the diddly. Uh, yeah, the rover's got a little battery on his underside here. Okay. So, the, the, the actual lander doesn't need to be too complex. Uh, didn't put an antenna. He's got an antenna on the inside. He comes with one. And he only needs to have, he, it doesn't need to be a very powerful antenna, because all he needs to do is be able to communicate back to a relay, and he's fine. And then, ideally, what we do is we put on, like, a squat, a squat fuel tank. No, it doesn't even need to be, because this isn't, this doesn't need to make, we're, we're landing on Duna. You know, so I, I don't think I'm going to be, be testing this on the moon first because a moon lander and a duna lander are much different. Duna lander is just parachutes and some retrograde thrusters. Um, you know, some braking thrusters, some even some monopropellant would do it. Um, and landing on the moon, you need a whole engine section. This just needs to be structural, mostly. And it needs to, it needs to have long landing legs, basically. So, if anything, I'm more just interested in a light structural section here. Um... Structural panels. Like a tube. Just, oh, that's, that tube's too big. That's a much bigger tube than I expected to tube. Yeah, just like a tube section with some with some hard points on it. Uh, let's see here. So how 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 far down? Oh yeah yeah yeah. See, look at that. That's what we're looking for right there. And then he when we use the separator, he just falls down. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. Oh, I'm on mirror mode still. There we go. Radial. <laughs> Isn't it? What the fuck? There we go. It's like, why is this not working? <laughs> That's perfect. 
Oh, that's an inch. I don't know if I've used these legs before. They like fold down. Everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. There we go. Um, I'm not too worried. About, I mean, the last time I sent in a lander, um, the entry was so slight. It was so easy that we didn't even need a heat shield. I mean, I, I, I might have to end up putting a deployable heat shield on the bottom of this. Cause, or, or what I could do is just have him point in the other direction. Come in nose first, and then flip around for landing. Uh, let's go ahead and make that a little bit a little bit taller. Then I'll just move these back down. So we want them mounted kind of like that. Let's just make sure. Like, oh, wrong thing. Start extended. Make sure we're we're, we're good there. We are. Nice. Oh yeah, and we'll move these out of the way so they're not in the drive. Uh, we'll have to put them on like, yeah, like more like this. So that the rover can drive out easy. Looks like that would be perfect. Yeah, because that's the front where the flag is. And the booty is the, one, is the science thingy. Can I get these? Eh, that looks That looks okay. I might be able to make this a little simpler, too. If we just use a... Because this part really doesn't matter. Is that... That's too big. Make it a little bit simpler. That makes it shorter, too. There we go. Working. So we've got that little rover underneath his booty there. Uh, okay, now I think we're just... We're just going to design the entry bit. Which shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Yeah, this shouldn't... The, the rest of it should be... I mean, it might take a little bit, but it should be pretty straightforward. Uh, this is definitely going to need parachutes. More para... I, I, I always try to go... Uh, these days, at least, I go overboard with the parachutes. Uh, we can put a light on the front of this guy. Oh, no, that's pretty... Uh, that's a much bigger light than I thought it was. Somebody asked for a headlight earlier. It's a little bigger than I expected. And I'm going to need, I am going to need a remote control surface on here at some point. All right, so we'll, let's go back to structural. That's not the right one. That'd be the right one for just keep, uh, getting it nose first. You can go ahead and retract those now. Let's put the structural sections on. And then we could put a drogue shoot on the nose. That's a drogue shoot, right? Uh, yeah, like the red ones. Yeah, it's a drogue shoot. Oh, that's way too big to fit on there correctly, though. Because it goes to this one. Okay. And ideally, we, we would want to put some sort of antenna on this. Oh, also, it doesn't have any command and control. I mean, you technically could control it from the rover, but I don't think we want to do that. Uh, do I have the components for wrapping the whole thing in a shell for aerodynamics and protection? Yes, I do. Now, if I wanted to, I could always make this a... Uh, I can always make this a, a manned lander, but I don't think that's smart just now. I think I can kind of just put this on the inside somewhere. Or just do this. And, and yeah, that'd be per that, that'd be fine. 
The only thing I worry about is um, uh, is entry into the atmosphere because I've done I did it once before with a heat shield and I ne I didn't even need the heat shield just because my my entry was so slight it didn't cause any issues. So if I'm careful, we should be fine again. Let's go ahead and put on RCS. Just to make sure we have it. Uh, that'd be under fuel, uh, fuel tanks. Some RCS fuel. Any mods? This is 100% vanilla. 100 vanilla. Uh, probably not going to need the monopropellant too much. And I... Because this is a structural section, I might just be able to rotate this to the inside. Because this is empty on here, on the inside here, and then I might be able to just move that in. Yeah. <laughs> that technically works. I don't think I can make this invisible. I'm not going to mess with it. So that's RCS on the end, because this is just a structural tube. So I don't have any issues with clipping things onto the inside. Alrighty. You know what I could probably do, too? I didn't even think about it, but, you know, the, the lander's decide, uh, designed to detach. I might be able to drive this whole thing around on the wheels. Uh, I've got all of the DLCs, yes. I've got all of the DLCs. Boop, boop, doop, boop, doop, boop, doop, 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 doop. Uh, let's make sure that these are all... So, let's see. That one would be last, because that's the, the, the separator that gets rid of the lander. These wheels probably couldn't hold this thing up. I mean, it's, there's not much to it, but... Um, I could probably make this shorter, too. If we get rid of this. And you just use the other... Because this doesn't... Yeah. Like, like that bugs me a little bit, but I don't have a problem putting stuff on the inside of a structural tube. Um, it's this one. Yeah, because it doesn't need to be... It'll go in, inside a, um, a shell, so it doesn't need to be particularly aerodynamic. And then we just put the other stuff on. That'll make it a lot shorter. That'll make um, getting it up into the air easier. Uh, then we lost the... Lost that. The drogue shoe to put on the nose there. That makes the lander a lot uh, shorter. A lot shorter. Probably makes it lighter, too. Alrighty, so we want to make sure there's some sort of communications on here. It needs to be able to relay. So I think the... It doesn't need to be able to relay far, though. So I don't think I'm going to need to go crazy with this. I could probably just put one of, uh, you know, just some of these high-gain antennas on here. It'll be fine. I don't think that's necessary. Oh, you know what I could do? I just say screw it. And I could put a decent, I could actually put a decent relay just on the nose here. And that'd work perfectly fine. Serve as an extra relay point at Duna. I'm pretty sure this is too big. That's, that's a, that's a little more than, yeah, we'll just go ahead and put one of these on there. And then we'll put drogue shoots on the side. Yeah, that's fine. Here, I'll put on a... Uh, can we rotate them around? Like that? Yeah. And, oh, I don't want four. I only wanted two of those. Drogue shoot. Main shoots. That gives us uh, an extra communication point. Or, commu yeah, communication point. I thought I said that wrong. Then I was like, no, no, no. That's right. Communication point. Uh, does it, this this section doesn't actually have power. 
So, you know what we'll do is we'll, uh... We'll slap a big old battery on there. And it doesn't need... And we'll just put some photovoltaics on. Uh, you know what? I'll rotate that up. That should be fine. This whole thing will go inside a protective nose cone, so we should be good. Okay, I think that's I think that's all we need. That'll get our that'll get our little rover over there. Oh, you know what I do need though? Uh, I need to strap a stupid wheel to this thing. Hey, dual wielder. Because this whole thing is about testing one of these wheels while landed on Duna. So I need to find some place to strap a dumb wheel. Saw how you killed Valentina Ben. Yeah. Yeah, she got smushed. She got smushed. Oh, God. This actually fitting. Uh, you know what I could do here? Fuck it. Can we just be cheeky with this? And put it on the inside of the tube. And then I, I could still interact with it from there. Yeah, because uh, to complete the mission, land it on Duna. To perform the test, use the run test option in the parts contextual menu. Yeah, I should be fine. No solar panels don't retract. Oh, you know what? You're right. I do need retractable ones. Because, um... What if I use retract? Well, what's the weight difference? Is the thing 0.25? That's double. They're a little bigger. I, you know what? I can just throw it right here. Yeah, because if I um, if I put on retractable ones, then I could deploy these ones while I'm in space flying to Duna. Retract them. And then I can use them again once we're landed to power the thing. Uh, otherwise, what I would have to do is put some on the do uh, on the propulsion section and some on the lander section. So yeah, that is better. Where's our cheeky wheel? There, there's the cheeky wheel. Okay. So there's our. I think that's everything we need for our test lander. Then what I need to do is attach this to a big-ass rocket. A big-ass rocket. So what I think I'm going to need to do is put some sort of structural business on the bottom of the rover here. And then build the cone around that. So, yeah, let's do that. Which means it would also need to separate from that point. Uh, coupling. Tech separator there. And we'll, we'll duct tape this thing up the wazoo. I don't think I'm going to need... I just need to basically get past the wheels and we're fine. So one little structural section should do the trick. Well, that's a big one. That it might actually do it. We'll test it out, though. So now what we do is grab a payload. Um, that looks like it'd work. Yeah, we just need a kind of a squat nose cone here. It's kind of fat. Well, that's, that's the whole... And then we just... A little duct tape to prevent any wibble. And we're fine. Dual monitors are great. Yo, yeah. I I, uh, I used single monitors for most of my life, but... Uh, now, I'm, now I'm on a dual monitor setup. I know. I got a friend who's got four monitors. He was like, I don't know how you plebs used to. Uh, let's actually just launch this. Just to see how this... Because I'm a little worried about the wheels interacting with the, this part right here.
So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, when in doubt, add struts. Duct tape everything together. When in doubt, strut it up. All I want to make sure is that, that those aren't going to clip through each other and, like, tear the thing to pieces. So we'll just deploy the clamshell. And no, it's fine. It's perfectly fine. Cool. And the stack separator would get rid of that. Perfect. All right. Recover vessel. Perfect. Test the wheels. Oh, I've tested the wheels already. We will add some struts just to make sure. Because I, uh, uh, well, you know, while you're under acceleration, it could get a little wibblier. Uh, I could use the internal stage node on the fairing to give extra room. Is that, do I, would that allow me to get rid of, uh, let's see, is that a thing? Internal nodes, uh, what do we, uh, let's see, edit fairing, delete fairing, fairing staged. Clamshell deploy, just internal nodes. What are we talking about? I could fit a larger antenna. Uh, I probably could. What's the weight, what's the weight difference though? When in doubt, strut it up as a tagline from Saturday Night Fever. Is it really? Here, let's uh, let's take a look at the communications here. See, point, it's about, it's more than double the, well. Actually, yeah, that almost perfectly fits in there. I can leave that on there as a powerful ground-based relay station. <laughs> uh, it's not that much different in a way. What are we looking at in terms of weight here? Five tons, that's including the fairing. We just need to edit it. That fits on there. Okay. I think I think we're good. I mean, this. Uh, what is the? Are you not entertained? Oh, entertained? entertained? Oh, buddy boy, thanks for the follow. <laughs> Detach the fairing, and I'll see. Uh. What are we what are we talking about? Well, it doesn't need to be there cuz we're going to do that manually. King Beast, I'm not as I'm uh, I'm I'm not picking up what you're putting down. If I'm missing something, let if if I'm you know cuz I'm no expert at this game, if I'm missing something, just let me know. All right, the staging is all messed up now cuz I Wait, uh, no, that's right. This would need to be before, because that's getting rid of the, the diddly there. That's the drug shoots. That's a, hey, Penelope, who's a good dog? What, what are we doing? What are we doing, Penny? Who's a big girl? Who's a big dog? You're the biggest. Did you want to come and help, Penny? Penny, come on. You can do it. Come on, up. Come on. Yeah, okay. Penny wants to help. Oh, God. Okay. So we got a big dog here helping out. She just wants a butt scratching, though. That's what she wants. See? Look look at the intense look on that face when you get a good bit butt, butt scratching. A la yeah, a 90-pound lap golden retriever is what she is. If you scritch just right, you get her tongue going too. Where's your Where's your tongue, Penny? Well, you want to show? Oh, oh, oh! You want to show everybody? What if we scritch? Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. Yes, doggo. I think this is actually going to work. I was a little worried about the dubiousness of this project, but I actually think it's going to work. Uh, kill. What is that about? Well, kilograms. Uh, hang on. Let me. Let me get my kit. Let, let, let me, let me, uh, let's see. Uh, where's the calculator? Uh, 
So, eh, divided by eh. 41 kilograms. Oh, I got the cat here now, too. Now the cat wants... The cat's jealous that the dog's up here. Now the cat wants to come up here. But I don't have any room for you unless you want to sit on the desk. Look how happy the... Look how happy she is to be helping. Yeah, that's a happy girl right there. Uh, let, okay. Let's see if we can't, um... Continue building with a dog in the lap. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it's a big girl. That's a big girl. A big dog right there. Yeah, almost weighs more than my wife. Okay, did you want to... What are we doing? Now I just have a big butt in my face. What are we doing? Are you trying to get down? Yeah, she's trying to get down. Okay, there you go. Good girl. Okay. She she did her helping for the day. Uh, what well, We were going to add some struts, though, because struts. In the weak points. Where there could be a little wibble. Oh, those, that is an ugly strut. I'm not too worried about that point. It's more like right down here. Connect these sections so they don't wibble around. The cat can sit on the dog. Yeah, there you go. They actually do really like each other, so that would, that would work out perfectly fine for them. Just add some struts in right here. Oh, hang on. I gotta... Well, it's not gonna let me do... Um... There we go. Add some struts in on the inside there to prevent any wibble in that area. And we should be good. Let's go ahead and save this. Doesn't clip through anything. It'll de the, the Septron will definitely break those struts, so they'll be fine. All right. Uh, now we need to actually build the rocket that will take this thing where it's going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on... Ooh, that's actually a bigger... It's a larger size fairing than I thought it was. Because that's, that's this one right there. I'm going to put on a smaller one, though. One of these. And I'm going to give it a nice, efficient poodle. So that'll, that'll do the, like, the... Probably most of the, the the burn, you know, probably the burn to Duna and the breaking. Glad the first stream I watched had a dog. Oh, Penny shows up every single stream. Literally every single stream. She loves the camera. Okay. Probably going to want a reaction wheel on this somewhere. So that it'll be easier to control while in space. Because right now, this is a lot of weight just to be controlled. I don't even think this has a reaction wheel in it. So, yeah. Let's uh, control. So, it'd be one of these big wheels here. So, I can actually control it while it's in space. That That's integral. Okay. Separator. That's this one, right? Yep. Let's grab the entire thing. Because this is technically the root part right there. So let's grab the whole thing and bring it up. And ideally, what we're, we're probably going to do is... is uh, what I was thinking is we bulge it out and put it on one of the bigger sections. Let's see. Is it this one? Is there is there a bigger bulge here? Nope, that's not it. I don't... There might not be. I thought there was a bigger, a, a bulgier section. Or is this the fa is this the fattest fuel tank I have? I think that is the fattest fuel tank I have. Isn't there a fatter fuel tank? Oh no, it's these ones. Like that. Oh, there's not a different... Uh, okay, and then we... Because this is a big, fat rocket. We need a big, fat engine. A nice, heavy lift engine. 
Then strap some boosters to the side of this thing and off we go. It's actually a fair bit of a, a thrust right there. Saturn V style, exactly. What I was thinking, we just strap a bunch of boosters to the side of this to give it an initial kick and we're fine. Does this have gimbal? It does have gimbal. That is a mon... Uh, is this... Is this a, no, that's what I was about to say. Is that, do we have any other engine that fits this section? Or is, it, is that the only one? I think that's the only one that actually fits that engine section. Oh, no, that one does too. Oh, the Mastodon probably. Yeah, the Mastodon. No, the Mastodon does not. The Rhino does. I think, though, I think this is better, though. I think that's better. Hold shift and click. You can move the entire ship without finding the root part. Hey! See, this is why I love uh, playing games like this uh, live. Because uh, when I'm doing a le uh, like a YouTube series, I just have to use my own derp brain to figure things out. But uh, chat helps. Uh, can the place you are in now be destroyed by a spaceship that explodes? Yes! Very much so it can. Uh, let's check the thrust to weight ratios. Oh, so yeah. The thrust, this has so much um, thrust that I could easily put a lot more weight onto this without it being an issue. What I'm thinking is we strap a bunch of solid rocket boosters to this bad boy and go. Alright, we can uh, merge these two together. See how we do. Oh, uh, the other option would be to put a third stage in the middle here. But I, I would worry about the... I would worry about the, uh, uh, the height of the rocket doing that. Yeah, let's, uh, fuck it. Let's just, uh, we'll do, we'll do it live. Uh, let's see. Grab a bunch of these bad boys. Let's give it, let's give it some kick. Let's give this bad, let's give this bastard some kick. Does that, does that have enough thrust to actually get it off the ground? Because this is heavy. It does! It does by a little. But we'll do, we'll probably turn these engines on so we have the gimbal available. Uh, and do we, we, we could, we could design these so that they're recoverable. But I, I feel like that's that that's a, that's one step too far. Need more boosters. I could I could I could put on more boosters. Uh, what time did the stream start? It started just over an hour ago. But I mean, all this is this is what we've been working on the time. We haven't done anything else other than just chat and do this stuff. So what we would do is these would go together, then that would go, then we'd just be on this one alone. Did I put a stage separator between the first and second stages? Yeah, it's right there. That guy right there. We could also put I don't I don't know if we'll need aerodynamic tail fins, but we might. Should we put some why don't we put some tail fins on for, for funsies? Just, just to, you know, just to make sure. So, because the last thing you want is this this be this beast to flip over. It does have gimbals, so that would help prevent that, but you never know. Mount those bad boys, strut it together. Good thrust to weight on takeoff, 1.5 to 2. Uh, well, what we're going to be using, these are just there to, you know, help. Put some uh, nose cones on there. I'm not going to bother trying to save these. That'll just add complexity and weight. We'll strut them together. Eh, do they need to be strutted? You know what we'll do? We won't strut them together. We'll strut them to the center. Try to get this lined up a little more. 
We'll strut them to the center like that, so there's a little less wibble. Is this, a, is this enough Delta V to get to Duna is the question. Oh, you know what? Um, this Delta V will like triple once we get into space. Okay, I think we're gonna try this. Alrighty. The wibbly wobbly A21. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we need to name this. We need we need to name the mission. Raise your hand if you would like this mission named after you. Cause that's what I, I name all of my missions after people from chat. Oh, Utari's the first uh, Utari one. He's the first one to raise his hand. I think this is going to be fun. It theoretically has plenty of delta V. We might have to wait in orbit for a while. And we're going to use we're probably going to have to use just a little bit of thrust on the um the initial stager. So we're just going to give it just a a hair. These need to be together. <laughs> Double check the staging. All right. A little wibble. Oh, shit. It's being controlled from the orientation of the rover. Uh oh. How many crashes and, and restarts can we afford? Uh, I didn't look at the price of this thing, so who knows? I didn't actually, I didn't look at the price. This thing, it doesn't look terribly expensive. Which way, I don't even know which, I need to go. I might abort this. Cause I, I'm not going to have, you know what I'm gonna do? We're, we're gonna let these solid we're gonna abort this we're gonna land this whole thing and We're gonna we're gonna tell it to control it from the actual control node so that I'm not completely confused Because otherwise I'm going to be struggling with this orientation issue the whole time. So let's just get rid of these let's just Deploy that uh, <laughs> uh, Let's go ahead and deploy all the sh let's uh, deploy the, all the shoots. Let's make sure and we'll just land this thing on its butt. It'll be fine. It's not designed to land, but this is fine. Did I get the other? I got the other one. It's fine. Does the rover need a crew? No, it's completely automated. This is fine. Retrograde to the surface? Yes. I'm going to try to land as much of this as I possibly can to save money. Yeah, we're 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 going to have to do is to make make sure it's being it's being piloted by the little command structure, the little little guy underneath the battery there, the little AI core there. I forgot two shoots. No, I didn't. I put on exactly as many as I as I anticipated. Here we'll uh We'll turn the engines on a little bit to slow ourselves down. I put on two drogues and four regulars. That's what I intended. Let's go ahead and put, pop the regular shoots. If I can actually grab them. Oh, shit. I can't... I can't grab them. Slow down, damn it. Stop. God damn it, I can't see the shoots. Slow down, you fu- If it stabilizes, I can see the chutes and grab them. Deploy chute. Ah. And deploy chute. Yeah, there we go. Deploy chute. Oh, there we go. We'll have to, uh, oh, okay, that's better. There we go. There's gotta be, there's, there's a way to man, to, 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 to do that on a, a button click, right? 
Shoot, 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 shoot! Oh, it's fine. Nailed it! Nailed it! <laughs> Recover vessel. Oh, okay, that's just my back cracking in half. Oh. Nailed it! Safe. All right, so how? Let's let's let, let's fix that problem, and see how much it actually cost. <laughs> Melon usk. Yeah, there we go. Oh God, it's expensive. All right, U Utari two. All right, so how do I do this? We gotta fix this problem. Right now, it's being controlled by the rover, which is rotated on its side. We need it to be controlled from this. So, control point. Is the default configure vessel naming rigid to how how do I change it so that that's the point it's being controlled from set up action groups in uh okay I got I got I gotta do that move the stage oh yeah that would have been probably the easiest thing on the fly would just drag the staging down and hit the button all right guys so this how do I how do I fix this problem how do I make that the control point is it is it reroute? Do I do I reroute? How do I do this? Somebody in chat's got to know. Reroute. So reroute. Do I uh, like this? Select a set of two or more parts to reroute. When deployed, you can zoom in and say control from here. Chat's saying reroute. So oh, do I root this select a part as a new root and just say root it to that? Do I, is that what I do? Or can I wrote can I rotate the configure vessel naming? No, it doesn't have the same uh, the same option. If I can't if I if I don't know how to if I don't do the reroute right, I can try the thing where I just control from here on. Uh, deployed, uh, reroute. Click rover. Click probe. Reroute. Click on the rover. Reroute. Rover probe. Now let's save that and see what happens. All right, let's try that. Boop, boo, doop. God, the music in this gets in my head. Like this morning, I woke up and I was like wandering around the apartment going to get my coffee, just going boop, boo, doop, boop, 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 boo, doop, boop, boop. My wife's like, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, let's see what this looks like. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Thank you, chat. All right. SAS on. Give it a little bit of a, a, a juice on the diddle there. Forgot to fix that from the last time, but let's give this another go. And the Wednesday, thanks for the follow as well. Nice. Nice slow burn through the uh, low part of the atmosphere here. It actually, it's funny because it actually looks really small. It looks like a small rocket, but it just looks that way because these these are huge sections. And there's not like a good comparison part there. We could afford four trials, but if I succeed, I get like half a million. And it does have parachutes on it. So if, if, if I ever need to, technically I could try to recover it like the last time. Try to keep it going. It's just wanting to go pro grade or uh, retrograde. We want it going pro grade. Just don't want. I don't want to. Don't want to tip it over very much while we're still using the solid rocket boosters. All right. So what we're gonna do is engines on all the way. Stay. Oh! I staged too soon. Oh shit! Oh, this is fine. 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 All right. That's. We don't need a. We don't need a. We don't need that much juice. Stage too soon. This is fine. 
pretty stable. Probably because these are ridiculously powerful engines. That would have been on that I've done that before where I staged too soon and the solid rocket boosters hit me on the way up. Woo! This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> what I was worried about, because since they went up, they, they cleared perfectly fine. I was worried that I was going to hit them after they ran out of juice. We're actually pretty good so far. Oh yeah, we can. Uh, cut. I'm gonna go to 80 and cut the engines. There we go. I think it's this thing. I think this is the part that's really expensive. But I, I'm considering the fact that I've got a lot of a lot of uh, stuff in that nose cone. There, we're, we're pushing a lot of weight to Duna. Uh, I I didn't want to dick around with like a bunch of small part, cheaper parts. Just want to check on the power. It's good. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. So let's just uh, have a point prograde here. Wait, we'll wait until we're out of the atmosphere. We'll get rid of the clamshell here. We'll get rid of the fairing because we don't. It, it's just added, added weight. And. We'll go ahead and deploy these to make sure that we don't run out of power. Oop, shit. I should really set up action groups. I never bother to do it, and I always end up manually having to do everything, and it annoys me. Beautiful. Alright, and now let's... <laughs> My god, that's a powerful engine. Take a look out here. Oh yeah, we'll wait a little bit. A little more efficient. How much juice is left? A uh, thousand meters per second. Good. That leaves thirty. That'll leave if if this gets us into orbit. That leaves thirty-eight hundred to get to Duna. That is a powerful engine. I've never used that one before. Worst case scenario, we accidentally built a relay satellite. And there it is. Single stage to orbit. Now we, uh... Whoop. There, now we've got the poodle section. 3,800's enough for Duna, right? As long as we're um, now in the right orientation. How, uh, I wonder how, how much, yeah, we have really good control over, that's a big reaction wheel. We have really good control. Uh, I don't know what the position of Duna looks like right now. Let's zoom out. Hello, asteroids. It's behind us. If I remember correctly, we want it slightly in front of us. An, an expensive ro uh, ro rover satellite. Expensive rover satellite. Uh, if I remember correctly, like, I'd want it in front of me a little bit, which means we'd have to wait for a good burn. Like, a while. <laughs> Because is uh, I'm I'm going faster than it, so I'm just going to outstrip Duna. So I, I think we'd have to we'd have to wait a while. Oh, and it's not going to let me. Uh, I should try to. I should I should get my my orbit higher, so I can I can speed faster. I did do I did Duna successfully twice so far so this will be the third time and i'm still not very good at it yeah that's that's really easy to control so we'll just uh get that periapsis up it's nice 
<laughs> it is a really expensive, completely over-designed satellite. If if that's all it turns into, if uh, and we do have a little bit of extra delta V, we could um, burn. We we could use the the RCS thrusters to maneuver this section, which is relatively light around. Yeah, I think we have to wait for for Duna to be in a, a better position. Oh, I have to be even higher to wait. Soon you'll be confident with Duna and go to Elo. Well, I gotta hit I've never hit Ike either. Yeah, this is this is I need to get it I need to get it up even higher to um, let's see, what is it right now? I need to like double it, but that's fine. Go to 500,000. I mean, that's that that's Delta V I, I would have had to, um, I'd have to use to escape anyway. I think, because I think, oh God, I don't even remember how much I need. It. I remember when I, when I went early, I needed like twice the Delta V. It was when I waited to the right time. Oh. Flip around first. Then do it. Hey, Epic Geek. Yeah, the gifts are um, for subs. <laughs> Hello works too. Although this, the gifts are still doing that thing where one day they're fine and one day they're not. I might have to warp from the tracking station. I might just have to do that. And wait till Dune is in a better spot. I said ge- oh god, I said it again. The See, the, 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 the audio part's working. The audio part's working, but the, uh, the, the gif isn't. I uh, fuck if I know why. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait. A year. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to wait a year. I mean, that's not a big deal. Should need around 1100 Delta V to get to Duna. Yeah, and if I if I went early, I'd need a lot more. Well, we, we all need the Obi-Wan appearing out of nowhere saying hello. Well, I was, what I was going to do is add in another one um, for uh, for General Grievous. General Kenobi. So that if, if, if people wanted, they could, they could use that one too. I have to figure out what's wrong with the gifts though. That's the problem is some days they work, some days they don't. It's hard to it's hard to suss out the problem when it's had to work in 50% of the time. I'm coming for you, Duna. We'll we'll get there. I'll catch up to you one of these days. Oh, and and some someday what I'm going to have to do is try to get to one of these asteroids. That'd be fun. I'm catching up, don't worry. We're just on complete opposite sides of the sun right now. Like, some of these have been out there for quite a while. Like, some of these older satellites are 10 years old. Okay, now we're starting to catch up. Waiting, waiting. Waiting for orbital injections. I'm wondering if it would be possible to just set set it up at like one of like like the L1 point and and, and wait from there. But to see if it may, that might be more effective. But I think it'd be easier to do it in like one go. All right, we're starting to get we're starting to get there. Thinking we need to be it needs to be like a little bit in front of us. 
I boot do 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 waiting. Yeah, these some of these asteroids are like pretty close. Watch until you finish your zero, then hop in on uh, Elder Scrolls Online. It's one of the few I haven't played. I was really into MMOs for a while, but uh, that one was that one was a thing after I lost interest. I play well. I mean, I lost interest in MMOs a long time ago. I think that's I think that's a, that's pretty good. Maybe a little bit closer. I'm gonna go with that, uh, and then we'll go back to not the Atari two. The debris we could terminate. Atari two will fly. All right, here we are, and we need to go to Duda. All right, sending nodes good. Let's go ahead and grab the, oh, grab it from here. How much is that adding? Not nearly enough. All right, let's crank this up. That Oh, that's that. Let's do it in 100 increments. Or is that 10? 10 increments is fine. There we go. Taking a break from Star Wars. Is that still a thing? If you use Duna right now, you could use the Duna gravity to slow yourself down, and we'll take less delta v to orbit around it. Oh, that's a good uh, that's a good idea too. So, uh, I think what we're gonna need to do is adjust the orbit, or, or just where we are in the orbit when we do this. Because right now, do I have it set it as a target? Do we need do we need more? If we adjust that so we're No, I think I had it. I think I was good before. Oh, actually, look at that. <laughs> There's an encounter right there. Okay, so we're we're where on the orbital plane was that? It was a little like in front of where I had it before. So can we do it with? We could probably do it with a lot less. Or do I want to? Do I want to hit it on the other side, or this one? Because I don't. I, shouldn't I? I want to be like catching up to it, or do I want it to catch up to me? I think I want it more like over here, because that because that gets me a lot closer with a lot less delta v. And then I might be able to get it a little bit closer by just adjusting where I I position the bird. Although I can't, really, it's hard. The problem is, is you can't really. I don't know if there's a button for that. That might. We could try adjusting it a little bit and then zoom out and see where we are. Cause there's there's the, the there's these oh 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 wait there is a button for it for adjusting where you are in the orbit ah I didn't know that was a thing I was like there's got to be a button for this somewhere I didn't know realize the center was actually little buttons for that uh let's drop that down we want to move it this way. I'll, we'll go up to 10. And then I might be able to drop down the Delta V again. Hmm. I think I had, I think I was, I was, as cl I, I was, I was pretty close before. Nine hundred Delta V gets me. Oh, that's that's good. 
I, I'm just gonna, because we're probably gonna have to adjust this at some point. Um, after we, after our initial burn. So we'll just do that. Let's see, node in, uh, burn time's one minute. Just over a minute. So we'll start it up at 33 seconds. Zoom ahead a little bit. Not bad. We might need to, we'll probably need to adjust a little bit once we're outside of Kerbin's orbit, but that's okay. We've got, we had 3,400 at the start of this. That should, we should be fine. Probably, def, I definitely could have done this cheaper. I just, I, I didn't want to fail a lot. Because most of our rockets fail four, five, six, seven, eight times before we get it going, and this being so expensive. All right, looking good. I can't believe this is actually working. I've never built a, a a lander with a rover on it. Well, I've never built a rover to begin with, so. That down to about a third of the thrust. So we're a little... Mm, mm. Yeah, and then we'll just cut it once we're a little closer. There we go. All right. What is that? Well, let's, let's, let's warp ahead. To the Kerbin escape here. And see how we do. See where that puts us. Nice looking little probe. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to adjust a little bit. Not much, though. We're just gonna need a tiny bit of adjustment. Oh, shit, that's not what I meant to do. I didn't mean to warp there. I wanted to just add a maneuver there. And see, we might need to go a little bit... We might just need to add on a little speed. Yep. Nine meters per second. We're, we're barely... Yeah, we're just gonna need to... Just a little tiny bit. Just need a little tiny. So I just need... I'm not even gonna... I'm just gonna... Nine meters per second's just fine. Let's see what is that that gets us a sec that's got us an encounter there we go all right uh go back to chat uh we you could do another burn to get you in closer to duna after this one about halfway there so you need less delta v to get an orbit um i've got 2500 delta v uh, to get into orbit i think we're okay and we could arrow break on duna yeah it's pretty easy on duna i remember that from the last time so now we just we're just gonna zip a here, let, let, let's warp all the way over here. So this is a multi-year mission, but that's fine. Actually, by the time by the time this mission's over, I think we'll have another, like, 1,500 science from the orbital bases. One of these days, we'll have to build a space station around Duna, too. What would be super cool would be to build a space station around Duna that, that can process fuel. Or go to Ike. We haven't been to Ike yet, either. There's Duna. 
We could probably just warp straight to the encounter. But like I said, well, we're gonna do this in ste steps. All right, where's our Duner? Enc Duner encounters right there. As long as you will play uh, Moho Golf at some. Okay, so it, it, what's Moho Golf? B build a uh, something with rotors to smack stuff off of Moho. So we are going to move on a point retrograde. Zoom, 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 zoom. Right, Dune encounter warp right there. Alrighty. So we'll just warp right here and burn retrograde. Hey, friendo. We got plenty. Right. Do we not have any control? No probe control. We have no control over the probe? It's out of juice. It's com it's completely out of juice. Are those Oh shit, I didn't even I didn't consider that. Is, it, is that too oblique of an angle? To uh might have to might have to wait a little bit and and hope for the best. Well, that's unfortunate. It looks like the sun's hitting that perfectly fine. No electrical charge. It's not producing any electrical charge. It's just going to... It's just going to fly off into space. Be a really expensive relay satellite. Has it's get has got nothing. Just because of the placement of the solar panels. I mounted them high up to be out of the way. And if if this thing was rotated just a little bit differently, it would have been perfectly fine. If it was rotated just ever so slightly in a different direction. It would have been perfectly fine. Oh, you know what? It won't even work as a relay satellite without any power. That fucking sucks. Wait, it... It moved for a second. It moved for a fucking second. Sun exposed... Zero?! How is that zero?! How is that zero sun exposure? Light scan. What? This arm is br is blocking it. Light scanning arm. Somehow. Oh, what is this? The light scanning arm is blocking it, even on the ones that are not f on even on that side. What is this nonsense? It's completely. It's complete. What? What? How is that a thing? How is that a thing? Someone explain that one to me. Not <laughs> design a mission just to. You know, I could do that. I could design a mission just to go over here, grab this thing, and... S well, well, not gonna get there in time to do anything. Wait, 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 wait! Can I... 
I don't have an encounter anymore. Ah! Oh. I don't have an encounter anymore. So we've gone past it. Man, god damn it. I don't think I don't I don't think there's anything I could do to to, to fix that either. Cuz no, it's we'd have to go this way. Try to hit it try to hit it again. Nope, that's not going to fly. Yeah, look look how much delta V we would need to tur turn the orbit to a point till we actually get it. 40 4600. Unless we try to meet it someplace else. Slow down. Well, slowing down right now is not going to do any. It's not going to get me an intercept. Doesn't oh, because it doesn't matter how much I slow down. And, and we we would need enough delta v to break as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, okay, so that's what we need to try to do. Is, is meet it up here somewhere. Alright, what if we we, what if we pull, pulled this in a little bit with enough Delta V to break again? And hope we don't have the same fucking problem. Well, idea, we need to try to meet it way out there. With as little as Delta V as possible. Can do it with about 1800 Delta V. What do we got left? What, what is left of the tank? Not enough. Because then we still have to brake. Speed up to try to catch up on the other side. God damn it. Uh, this is gonna This is going to require a lot of tweaking. So I think if I do it more like this. Yeah, I could do it with a little bit less if I go if I do it like over it like this. That's fifteen hundred delta V. Fifteen sixteen hundred? That cuts a couple that cuts a cuts a couple hundred off. Right there. And catch up was in half an orbit to the other side of the sun. I don't know how much that would save. Sixteen hundred delta V. And then that that would leave us using the RCS thrusters to break, which I don't know if we'd have enough for that. Hmm. So we, we know we could do that. So what about trying to beat back up on the other side? That's just going to be a bunch. That's just going to be straight up like prograde. And then we'd have to adjust the orbit the other way. But we're not getting any sort of inner. Yeah, that's that's basically the, you know, it's basically the exact same intercept we just plotted. So it seems like it's easier to just try to do it right here. 
get an encounter with Ike and use its gravity. Ugh. I think we'll probably just try this. See what happens. I don't think it's going to be enough. It's 1500 Delta V. So we'll warp to our maneuver and see what happens. Damn you, son! That, I, I call bullshit on that. The rover arm was in no way blocking the sunlight. Absolutely in no way. In no way was that blocking the sunlight. Uh, we'll try it. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. I don't think there's going to be enough left over. Well, we, what we'll, we'll, we'll end up doing is uh, ditching the... Um, when we run out of fuel, we'll ditch the... What's it called? Uh, the engine... Uh, the, the upper stage here, and we still got our RCS thrusters to try to slow down with. Well, see, the bad thing is, is that we're trying to catch up to it now. So the, the intercept velocity is going to be pretty high. Alright, we just gotta finish this burn and see where we stand. We'll have several hundred Delta V... Well, we have like 800 left or something like that. I don't think that'll be enough, though. If we could get to the point where we're arrow breaking, then we're fine. Then it's just a matter of waiting. It doesn't need to be perfect. Drifting a little. Eight hundred and twenty-one left. That doesn't seem like enough. All right, Dooner encounter number two, a month away. What's the mission? We're trying to put a a, a rover on on Duna right now, and unfortunately, I'm calling it a bug. Just screwed us. We were perfectly fine, but for s somehow. This arm blocked sunlight on every single one of our solar panels. Even though it's only the rover arm is only on one side, it somehow was blocking light on the other side of the, the fucking thing. I don't know how that happened. There she blows. I'm calling bullshit on that one. Now, we'll see what our orbital velocity is when we uh, when we get there. It does have a stronger gravity than, like, the moon or Minmus, so it might not be too bad. But we'll see. Yeah, Murphy got to me. Whip. Duna escape. So where's our Duna? Oh, we're, are we not quite there yet? Not quite. Yeah, we just got a minute. I was like, where's my doodle? Actually, you know what? We're fine. Our orbital velocity is basically nothing. We accidentally gravity assisted ourselves correctly. We accidentally gravity assisted ourselves correctly. Because our orbital velocity around Duna is basically nothing. Woo! Accidents for the win! Yeah, exactly. All according to plan. Smooth. 
Inclination's jacked up, but that doesn't really matter. Because we are we have 800 Delta V left, and we're going to need just a little tiny tap on the engines to complete an or, uh, to, to make sure we're in orbit. Then we set it up for aero braking and hope we don't blow up in the atmosphere. And captured. All right, so we'll just uh, make sure we get inside Ike's orbit here, so Ike doesn't throw us out of um, out of our doodle. You know, we'll just burn until we're inside. I think we want to get below forty or fifty. Screw you, Ike. Bring it in a little bit. Let's get below 50. There we go. Then we'll warp around. There we are. And we could definitely use uh, our excess fuel for slowing down. So what do we got left? Yeah, I thought we were going to have nothing. We've got 700 left. Hi, buddy. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Sixty. Fitty. Yeah, and then we'll just uh, break. Bring, bring in the other side. Make sure this is. Oh, let's let's actually get to our. Oh wow, we're actually really close to Zate. Off on the uh, the orbital plane, but that's fine. Solar panels. Oh, yeah, they're fine for now. Look at that. Is that like is that is that like Dunas Mons? Mount Duna? It's pretty tall. Alright, close enough. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna retract some of them now just to keep them safe. And let's check. We are in the atmosphere because the apoapsis is changing, but what we're going to do is go ahead and slow down. And make sure that we're actually popping on in here. I don't really care where we land as long as we land. I just want to make sure that there's like still a solar panel out facing the sun on the way down. And a lot of the electrical charge is used up by this when we when we use it to maneuver around. So far so good. Yep, we're in the, we're arrow breaking, we're in the atmosphere. So far so good. Okay, cool. It's working! It's working! We're almost out of fuel, but that's perfect. Ah, and it just swapped because it knows we're coming down. <laughs> Exploding space band. Hey, Midge! Buddy! Definitely coming, definitely coming in. I don't, I honestly don't think we need a, uh, oh, what's it called? A, um, a bibbidi boop, uh, uh, heat shield. A, because I didn't put one on here. Uh, and B, we're just, I mean, we do just fine without it. If I wanted to, what I could have done is put it on right at the bottom of the, uh, below this. It would have been worked perfectly fine. Larger webcam for once. Yeah, um... I used a, 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 I made it a little bit bigger when I switched to Streamlabs OBS. I love this game. Me too. It's a lot of fun. 
Yeah, now we're just we're just very slowly arrow breaking. Coming into Duna. Didn't even need to like even the solar panels are like this is fine. Oh yeah, look at the look at the orbital speed now. It's really dropping. Uh, let's switch to ground. Oh yeah, big difference between uh, sea level and ground. Several thousand meters difference. But we we didn't we haven't even gotten rid of the booty yet. All right, I think it's uh, I think it's time to get rid of the booty though. So we we drop the booty. We don't need him anymore. He did his job. Uh, deploy the drogue shoots. Oh, I thought something ripped off for a second. That's not ideal. But once the shoots deploy, we'll I, we'll be we'll we'll stabilize a little. There's a little bit of flip in it. Let's go ahead and deploy the rest of the shoots. It wants to, oh no, it's too top heavy. It wants to land on its face. Wait, wait, we might need to use the RCS. Wait, wait, I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Ho, oh, ho, ho, There we go. Oh, I'm so glad I put RCS thrusters. Yeah, it's a little top heavy. Safe. Uh, I'm pretty sure these legs can withstand 12 meters per second uh, impact. So 8 meters per second should be fine. Uh, I'll probably uh, give it a little bit of... Um, a, a little bit of a uh, slowdown. On the RCS engines once we uh, once we actually hit though. So far so good. Although that's a hell of a slope. Slow, sl the slower the better. Ha! <laughs> Hold. I think the slope got us. Lost a couple solar panels. Doom! Lost a couple solar panels. Uh, it's technically fine. All right, let's see how this goes. Damn it, it almost had it. Oh, god damn it. Can I flip this thing over? Look at the wheels. Oh no, it's gonna die there. The solar panels are underneath it. The solar panels are on the bottom. <laughs> you win again, gravity. Oh, son of a bitch. In range comm device of this vessel. It can't transmit to it can't it can't relay to this one? Well, I mean all, all technically all we need to do is test out is do this. Wait, what? Oh wait, no what? I I'm, I was like, why can't why can't I test out the wheel I left inside this thing? It's I'm on the wrong thing. Uh still on the wrong thing. Here we go. Run test. I completed my mission. That was uh, that. That got me a cool five hundred thousand. Happens if I retract the legs. Let's see. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my solar pan! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh no! No no! That's the last one. 
Oh, God damn it! <laughs> well, I got paid. That's what's important. I got paid. Well, all the solar panels broke. Oh, I thought it was actually gonna write it. I, I, I got an, I got an idea. I have an idea. Yeah, the check already cleared, exactly. Did it cost more to get there? Oh no, it costs 116,000 to get here. Um, and I, I made like 700,000. I have an idea. RCS on. All right, which which button makes the RCS go the direction I need to go? I think that should do the trick. No, not quite. Come on, come on, come on, come on! If only I had retracted the solar panels beforehand. I should have tried that first. I should have tried that first. Because this now, now all the problem is, is this thing will slowly die. <laughs> There's just debris all over the slope. <laughs> Woo! Oh, God. How about, how about now? So what's the problem with this? Uh, it might not have any require partial. It might just not have a connection. I should. I thought that I thought I would have enough ejection force to just flip the rover over. And uh, unfortunately, it's too fat to do anything. Hey, desk program, welcome. Um, I, I I think what I could probably do. Let's see. Wait, what? This shows. This is showing it has direct line of sight. All, it has communication all the way back to the relay at Kerbin. Is the internal... It has an antenna. Why are the wheels moving? So what's the issue? The internal one can't transmit science. Oh, okay. I thought the internal one could, so there so it's just that. All right. Well, technically that was a success. And that will serve as a relay for a while. It's got it's got a big battery on there. It'll technically last for a while. A robot arm? Can I can I can I manually extend that? Am I allowed to? Status retracted. How do I Is there a way to is there a way to use the rover arm to try to flip it? Cuz I don't see any I don't see any control for the rover arm. Cause it looks like it'll only extend it like it, I don't think I don't think I can actually manipulate the rover arm 
There's a, path, there's a path of solar panels leading down. The, the worst part is, is the solar panels on this are facing directly into the dirt. Directly into the dirt. Yeah, I think I think we're just going to have to call this a qualified success with an asterisk. And head back to our space station with our, uh, with our ill-gotten gains. Hey, we made plenty of cash on that. Plenty of cash. Right? You get the check cleared, right? Yeah, the check cleared. I started that mission with 350,000 curb ducats and ended with 900,000. Temperature survey. Bring back a Duna stone with me. Explore Duna. I'm going to take the Explore Duna. I'm going to take the Bring the Duna stone back. Position a satellite in a specific orbit. I'm liking the Duna missions. Those are fun. Yeah, exactly. And we, we just left some spare parts there. This is fine. And I... I uh, so what... I, mm, what I kind of want to do now is, is build one of my space stations around Duna. To serve as a... As a base. But I gotta take a really quick bathroom break. I will leave you with my protege. Penelope. Come here, sweet pie. Up. Come on. Up. Yeah. Here we go. Give a little rotation in there. There we go. You stay here and you entertain the masses. And I'll be back in a second, okay? That's a good dog. He's a very good dog. You deserve hugs. All right, stay. Who's your treat? Good girl. Yeah, delicious beef flavored treat. I think she wants. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Penny. That's a good girl. It's a good girl. Oh, look at all the doggos in chat. Look at all the doggos. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah, good girl.